In a hilarious turn of events, it looks like a bat dying. Yeah, the bat died. Well, hi everybody. It's the day after yesterday, so I had to log out and then log back in. So now all of the creepers and stuff that were around me have disappeared. Um, but that's fine. I could have done without them in the first place. So hey, we're back with Minecraft. Episode 19, Season 3, Nomad Land. Last episode, we traveled far up here. Far down here, even. Uh, from Deep Slate. Um, just to try out some new chunks to see what the new generation in the caves would be like. Because I updated from 1.20.1 to 1.20.4. So. I should have made night vision potions. Said no one ever. Well, I'm wearing my beanie, so the audio is really, like, tinny. I should take my beanie off. Oh, we have full inventory already, oh god. Yeah, we'll be doing well. We're just chilling today. I don't have the Minecraft audio playing anymore. The, um, the one that I made. Uh, I could have sworn I still go. It's up there, yeah. Oh, uh. Sorry? I'm used to my flame sword on the server, so it feels weird to not have it. It's so dark. But I want the shield up so I can defend myself. To be fair, I don't really need the shield. No, nothing's gonna kill me. Not like immediately, you know. It will come in clutch at some point, I know that. But it's not gonna. Like one creeper explosion is not gonna blow me up. Fully stacked. I should take off the. Uh, oh my god! Oh! Ooh. Take the bread, yeah. This is a fun little place to spawn. No, close. Bread. Mm. Let's uh, get our bearings, I think. Put some stuff away. Rotten flesh. Should I put the finish back on? It could be kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I need to switch pickaxes. Because I don't want to be picking deeps light up. Yeah, we pr that probably helped. I don't know why I'm following the stream upwards. I need to get deeper. I love the cave ambient. I kind of wish I could turn off the sort of melodic phrases. Did I put the gold ore away? God, gold ore sounds like a... Some, like, fucking fantasy nerd place. Hagrid, we need to get to gold ore! Some Lord of the Rings type bullshit. I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I'm swift and sneaky. Oh no, it's a zombie. <laughs> I've not long woken up. Um, but do I care? No. Yeah, that's fine. Not long woken up. So I'm a little bit tired, as you might hear. I do have a coffee next to me and some snacky wackies. But uh, there's wheat in them, so it's going to make my throat go. So that's why I'm, I decided to speak now. I haven't spoken in, 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 today, because I've not been up for too long, so my voice hasn't settled in yet. But uh, I could, if I force it a bit more, then it, it comes out a little bit. But, um, oh no, god, that sounds so, right, so bad. If I force my voice to come out, I'm just very soft-spoken, naturally. Kind of hard to hear me sometimes. Well, we have places to go beneath us, so let's keep going down. 
probably. I see you on the minimap. Hmm. Maybe there isn't anything beneath us. Oh, we found a geode. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's head back up there. But while my voice is decently buttery smooth, kind of, kind of, while my voice is like that, I suppose I shouldn't make it worse. But my coffee's gonna get cold, so that's gonna really hurt my feelings. <laughs> I went off coffee for a little bit, a couple days, just for some health reasons. Oh no. Don't do it. Stop it. Little bastard. Can I hold these things? Give me XP. I need to use a hoe in my multiplayer server. Just because I'm like super close to getting another enchantment on my gear. Damn, finding finding no entry down. It's a shame. There has to be something near us, right? Maybe there's not. No, there was. There was something on like this level. It was like another little cave. Oh, let's go up there. Where are you, Drip? There you are. Thomas Drip. Mm. This is useless. Are we on top of one or underneath one? I can never read that map. Oh, we were here earlier, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I'm watching a live stream. I've been watching this for like two hours. So I've paused the episode for now, but I found this. And some diamonds. There's another one right here, holy shit. Just over there. I found another one. I just fell through the floor. <laughs> okay, that's so many. Holy shit. Three in such a small area. That's cool. I found a big cave. Whee. There's another one. Whoa. I've never seen two spawners this close. Oh, there's diamond. Oh no, I had to pull it back up again. Ah. Oh! No more. What There's the another rats. one. What the fuck? There's so many. The last one and I had Jesus. There's so many. You Ooh. own a grunt plush, Mr. Olson. And uh, not yet. Space girl. I found another one. Oh my god. Ooh. Other side. You're not missing much, by the way. I've just been mining a bunch. Oh, I told yeah, my texture yeah. back on, by the way. Yeah, Ayandra and Alexander. I think it's a correct assumption. Oh yeah, there's definitely more diamond. A diamond, diamond, there's some diamond up here. It's more exposed at least. I always dig around to try and find a little bit more, but it is definitely, definitely, definitely here. Love this gadget. It's good. More diamond. Bam. Like bam. What does it mean? Uh, bam. I found a deep dark. Ooh, diamond. I don't There's care who you are. If you get sick of finding diamonds, you're you're a disgrace. Yeah. You're a fucking disgrace. I, it's not an air, like, There's nothing here. There had to be a lot of these victims coming through. They what? needed to be tied from them. So you are stupid. You're coming with me. Shuffle them in here. Loaded them up onto these yes. kind of shuttles. Okay, let's be careful. <laughs> This looks like a big cave. I wonder if this is going to turn into anything. I'm watching Frederick play Rebirth. For the, oh, for the dev. It's probably fine. For the dev live stream. That's what you can hear. Ooh, my diamond. I'm collecting everything, okay? Every single thing. It all comes in handy. We're all we're using all of it to build. 
Yeah, I like the new diamond generation. It's not new, I guess it's months old by now. Hunter in the face. Oh yeah, we have one. <laughs> Woof. I wonder if this is one that I've explored already. Fuck me. No, we couldn't have explored this. Ooh. I don't have enough space. I might have to build another portal here. Because I'm like full up on stuff. Yeah, destroyer live. Uh, I mean. Ooh. We were talking about other ways of doing that, but it be turned out a bit too complicated. Let's and go up. We had to oh, put make a, a way lot home. of effort into the work. So much diamond. Oh. Nice. Okay, I left torch markers down for us. Which this is the, the happy room, basically. That was a lot or the testing room. So putting people <laughs> here. Let's see. There's a lot of steps to go on. Test subjects. Where am I? Putting them here and showing them different stuff to see. Where did we enter? Oh god, what we're all the way over here. And wow. What they didn't like things from our world. Huh. There could be a trail ruin right here somewhere, maybe. Need to tell you about Alice, one. Maybe in the tiger. She was your sister too. I bet we could get over there in four rockets. Back home. What do you think? Oh, I nearly no, flew away without that. They were probably torturing them <laughs> physically in these pods. Kind of. Oh, shit. Isn't there an. Fuck. Oh. Ouch. By fireworks. Can I put anything away? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I can. Okay, let's go. See if we can make it back home. In four fireworks. Without my computer crashing, so I'm trying to render we six million chunks. <laughs> oh, there's the glass spire. <laughs> it's not that big. We'll make it bigger. We're coming back where we were run. in the beginning of the game. Run, run, run. We're back at Journeyman's. Hey, oh no, it's spawn um, chunks. So I'm going this way. I turned myself around, I'm stupid. Yeah, it took us four fireworks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like every vehicle ever combined. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, so the question was, what would you say was the most yeah, challenging nice. area of rebirth? The sub. Mm. Oh, I actually met my sub mm. goal. Not ten subs. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we what made it. Would you say was the? We have lots of stuff to put away. It's a good thing we have all the space that we need. I keep everything. Have remember some fun that. here. It's not about hoarding, but it's about hey man. everything is useful. Everything has a use. Defrosted. Ooh. Nice. Ten whole diamond block. Look at that. I'm gonna go put that emerald piece that we got making videos into of me, the museum uh, chest. Because these are kind of rare. So. Like that, but yeah. Whee. You do. I guess I can keep this going. No. No, 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 no. Is it three on him? <laughs> Oops. Funny, funny. Yeah, I've collected a bunch of woody, but... Oh, no, 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 I'm really sorry if the last, like, five minutes was really jumbled and hard to understand because there was a bunch of other stuff happening at the same time. Um, but yeah, I was watching Frederick's Amnesia Rebirth Dev Livestream Part 2, and um, that's over now. It's the day after, it's, it's quarter past seven in the morning, um, and I, I, I went to bed at ten. I was super, super tired uh, when I got out of the bath, and because uh, I was reading by my little light. And that really, really puts me out, puts me to sleep. So... Oh, what am I doing? But we're here now, to play Minecraft. We have a little way up to the surface. I've had some sleep, I've only got six hours, just under. But I feel like I work better on low amounts of sleep. I've had a banana, I've got my coffee with me. And 
Yeah, I'm ready to play some Minecraft. I just left my computer on all night. Which I try not to do. At least if I do do it, I make sure that something is like rendering or uploading or... Whoa. Music. God Apple. Another other side. Efficiency 5. Wow. You know what? We should really be taking all these books. Also, I want to rename these shulker boxes. I forgot you could rename them. I want to rename the, the purple one utility box. Because <laughs> that is what it is, you know? Okay, we don't really use the bow. I'll put the bow back up there. Uh, we might get more god apples, so I'll keep that with me. Candles we'll definitely get more of. Torches we'll definitely get more of. Books we'll definitely get more of. I'm gonna pick up some skull corn on the heel. It's not a bad idea. I may as well just collect everything, right? Um, do something fun, eh? <laughs> you know, we should save the collecting for another time, really. If this is empty, I'll destroy it. Yeah, let's save the collecting for another time. Do you think we'll find any diamond under here? I like that I, I actually updated. I'm really happy that I did that. It's a lot more diamond now, which is great. Not that I'm using it for anything, but it's just nice to have, you know? I think I'll save on getting every other ore that I see, just because we have a lot of diamond now, for now. We're going to need to just focus on loot. Plentiful diamond is. I'm not going to complain. I was gagging for it. Oh, I don't have the vanilla mod that makes all the XP fly to me naturally. It's one of the ones I didn't reinstall. Too late. <laughs> I've noticed for a long time how anxious that I am and how insecure that I am about so many things in life and about myself. And I went to bed last night, really understanding it for the first time. 
and like pointing it out to myself that hey you don't actually need to be worried about this or that the journey to self-acceptance is a long road that I think you're supposed to walk for a very long time Maybe some of us reach the destination earlier than others, but... I'm not gonna be upset at myself anymore. At least I'm gonna try not to be. <laughs> I'm a good person. I don't need to hold myself to such high standards. I don't need to force myself to be somebody I'm not. I don't need to be anything. Anyone. When I say that now, it's something I probably will struggle with still, for a while. It's not just gonna magically get better overnight. But... I think I can make progress towards it. To becoming a happier person. A healthier person. A more understanding, a more calmer, more confident, secure and mature person. Cause that's that's the goal, you know? To get somewhere in life that you're happy with yourself. Quite possibly might be one of the most difficult things we can do. Because we're at a part in, We're at a part in our life, in our society and culture where Oh this is gonna make noise, yeah. Where we don't really have anything to do anymore. Like, we don't need to... Like, the average person, I mean. Like, we don't... Most of us aren't farmers, you know? Most of us aren't cultivators. Aren't business people. Aren't... You know, like, managing a little town and stuff, you know? It's like... We've grown... The human race has grown so past its history and so fast that there's many things that we don't really need to worry about anymore and a result of that is life has become incredibly boring <laughs> for a majority of people oh they can hear you fly oh well shit Is he active? I think he's active. Is he active? I actually can't tell. <laughs> and I'm not one of those people that's like on social media a lot. Or... Like obsessed with my appearance and stuff, but I do think about my appearance a lot and my... And how, and my perception, how I'm perceived. I'm very aware of that. To a fault. Definitely to my detriment. Oh, yeah, he's coming up. And the warden has music now. That's really cool. <laughs> but I am always looking through my emails. 
talking to friends and like checking back on the Discord server just constantly. Like every every hour or so. Sometimes way more than that. And I don't know. It's like habitually doing it. But it's it's a really it's quite a bad habit I feel. It keeps me keeps me always like on this loop of looking out for something, being involved in something, I'm waiting for something. It keeps me going back and forth and just activated to the point of exhaustion. And I'm quite glad I'm not one of those people that's addicted to like, because I don't use social media, but I do have a Twitter. I check every now and then, not all the time. When did I destroy it? I don't even really remember. <laughs> Um, so I'm probably getting my my thoughts mixed up and muddled. Is this gonna prevent that signal from going that to that shrieker sensor? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I just want to become a happier person. I want to work on myself. I always want to work on myself. I'm obsessed with becoming like the best version of myself. But sometimes I just struggle trying to... Focus, I suppose is the word. Try to focus on the things that I do need to improve on. And there's quite a few things. I'm quite selfish. A lot of the time, I'm very prone to believing that I'm right, and I can be quite dismissive of other people's opinions, while also being like decently self-aware and level-headed and respective of other opinions. But um, there are some times where I'm, I can be just quite rude and dismissive. Um, I didn't mean to walk on it. I've been here anyway. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, we're pretty much invincible. We can just get away whenever we need to. And just, I second guess myself a lot, and I'm, I'm insecure a lot about how I act, how I talk. Largely who I am. And it's big, vague, sweeping, you know, insecurities that don't really matter anywhere or anything. Like, oh, my arms are too thin. <laughs> you know, like, get some problems, dude. Oh, I struggle to, to gain weight and do this, and I want to look like this, look like that. I feel like I should be doing this for my age. It's a lot of, like, outward-facing insecurities that don't really affect anyone's life, including my own. Like, what does it matter that I'm not currently in a relationship? What does it matter that I'm not driving? I don't want to drive. I don't really want to be in a relationship. You know, it's things like that that I just think about a lot. I'm really good at revisiting all the places. I always forget where I've been. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter when it shouldn't matter.
Even like the things about recording, I get insecure about. Like just just then, like for years, I've been like averse to letting you hear me like swallow and breathe and stuff, and feeling like I'm being too loud in those regards. Just on the microphone, it's such a strange thing to like think about. Like I'm just too aware, and I struggle with turning that awareness off. In like every facet of my life. trying to fucking sleep. Oh. oh, he's down there now. You ain't smell me. Oops. they add the smell you mechanic? Can he go away even if he still smells you? I don't remember. I think he goes away after he doesn't hear a noise, right? Or does he have to not smell you? shouldn't really be up here. Yeah, the music stopped playing. I don't remember how he worked. Okay, the music plays in a radius now, I suppose. Oh my god, it's because I'm shifting. Oh! See you later. You hear nothing. I'm like 20 blocks up almost. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to get me. I wonder why my movement was so low. I thought it was like 20 blocks up. The guy is supposed to get away from him. Um, excuse me, I'm not making any noise. He's still chasing me. This is bullshit. This, this is literally bullshit, dude. I'm turning him off. What the fuck? This is genuine bullshit. I don't play Minecraft for the challenge, you know this. Especially when the game just literally breaks its own rules for no reason. Like, what are you supposed to do in that situation? If you literally can't run away, and I literally pillared up more than 20 blocks. Did I not? Let me count these. Not including the three that I dug out. Let me count how high I was. Maybe I wasn't. So, there's three blocks there. Sorry, I'm just a matter-of-fact little bitch about things. So take away three from whatever this is. We had 24. Uh, I was just too high, it looks. Too, uh, just too low. Oh, 
I thought he could attack me. He could definitely attack me if he was on there. Yeah. I don't play Minecraft for the challenge. You know this. It's just kind of frustrating. I don't like being frustrated. No shit. I don't think anyone does. Like, I'm careful as fuck normally. Okay. Ah, stop complaining, you fuckwit. So annoying. I just want to do my own thing. See, and that's another thing. Like, even like this right now. Like, feeling like I have to justify myself to you. And say like, oh, I don't play Minecraft for the challenge because I'm worried that people are gonna like... See me be frustrated or, or like poor, performing poorly at the game and then like... Believe like I'm incompetent or something. It's, it's that self-perception. It's such a strong issue for me. Like, why do I care so much? Why do I care so much about other people's opinions and approval? And how can I work on that not being a factor in my life? It's a super interesting thing to me. It all just has to stem from insecurity. There can't really be any other reason. I suppose I just want to be liked. I want to be thought of as capable. But capability is like something you demonstrate. Because again, if you have to tell everybody that you're capable, you're probably not. If you have to tell everybody that you're competent, you're probably not. Stuff like that. It's a really interesting thought for me. Just psychology in general is something that fascinates me including your own because like nothing is like we are nothing is as complex as we are we're the most complex we're not we're not the most complex organism but the brain is one of the most complex things i want all these candles How do you open the door? Thought you had to walk on this. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Little one, look where we are. Oh, I came down here expecting something different. <laughs> Open. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, it is open, yeah, okay. I kind of want the sticky pistons. I'm gonna take them. I should probably take the repeaters and comparators and stuff too. Not that I really need them. God damn it. Why didn't you let me place it that way? What the hell? How did I even place it like that? I have no idea. Uh, we don't need the redstone. Repeaters. I don't think I need the pickaxe for them, I think I can just pick them up. And the comparators, we'll take all of it. 
Maybe we should take the lamps as well. This is to keep it still. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. I'll take the redstone. I'll take the lamps too. I don't really use the redstone lamps. I probably should. You can. Can you hand destroy them? Yeah. Okay. Well. I shouldn't take the redstone block. It's kind of just useless. Oh, well, I am going to be picking up all of this redstone. Mm. And I do find psychology as interesting as I do. When it comes to yourself, it's one of the most interesting topics I think there is. When it comes to the self, what the self is, you know, just... All this stuff I find super engaging to think about and talk about. I suppose it's just me getting wrapped up in my own head, which is, I think, understandable given the year that I've had. <laughs> so, I'm not going to hold myself, I'm not going to hold it against myself too much. I have had one fuck of a year. <laughs> it was only really natural for me to get wound up. Above all else, I just want to be happy. Or content. That's a better word. Happy is overreaching. Happy is too f definite. It's definite and indefinite. Happy doesn't really exist because of how malleable it all is. It's like the definition of perfection. Shut up, you're very loud. Everybody has their own perfection. Therefore, no perfection is perfect. Perfection isn't really a thing you want to strive for. You should do what makes you happy. As long as it's, you know, safe and legal. Safe and legal. Not damaging to you or other people. Unless it's like a sex thing, and it damages you, then you're fine with that. But again, as long as it's legal. But technically, who decides that, you know? We decided that, collectively. Truth isn't real. Truth doesn't exist. Morality is just a construct that we made. That we live by and believe by as a society. That everybody should be equal, nobody should be harmed or dishonored or disintegrated <laughs> discriminated truth is just the consensus of opinion you know it doesn't really if everybody's truth is different the same as everybody's perfection and again how can truth exist I find it really interesting to think about, but I, I'm just talking in circles now. It's so noisy, boys. Wait, there's a skull here I want to... Hello, friend. I might as well get the candle, that's why I'm pissing these guys off. Okay. Oh, I'm a trim, look at that. Did I put books in the... this one? I did. Hmm.
Why is it so noisy? I'm leaving. <laughs> I think we have more to explore, but... Let me put a torch down so I know I've been here. I just, it's interesting, again, I'm, I'm going to just keep talking about the same topics, because they interest me, but I know someone who's really talented, and just really sure of himself, and really secure, and it's less of a culture thing, and more of an age thing, it's just something that I've noticed a lot, that, it, that seems way more truthful and prevalent from the older generations is that they're just a lot more confident and sure, maybe not confident, maybe sure of themselves. Sure, sure in themselves is like a better term for it. Because I know plenty of people who, someone especially I know, um, is incredibly wrong about so many things and they, and they f truly believe they're right. They truly believe, well then again we're talking about the whole truth debate again. Dim but. This person is demonstrably bad person. But they truly believe they're right and that they're doing the right thing. And that they're thinking and saying the right the things that are true and like correct and morally safe. But they're gonna be further from the truth. But again it's an age thing. He's from an older time, an older generation. He didn't have all this back and forth, he didn't have these constant assaults on of, of attention. Assaults on your attention, like we have in today's day and age of social media and instant demand. So I want to get better at handling that for myself. About formulating opinions, formula formulating speech. I want to make sure that if I have something to say, it's something worth saying. So I just started to do a little therapy session, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, I think we have what we came for. There's probably some buildings that I missed, but... I'm not too mad. Yeah, we came from there. Can I see the fall? I think, I think I need to, um... Oh yeah, yeah, we want to be super down, super down. Yeah. Huh. There's a another thing in there. That's cool. I can see how far this skulk spreads. That is mental. That's so cool. Did we go over here? I don't think we did. That stretches on for a while, that's cool. These structures are really cool. I wonder if there's any places that I've missed. Lots of mine shafts and things. I don't think there'll be deep docks in these areas. We've explored all the way over here, what? Wait, where is that? Uh, oh, we need to still go to Mushroom Island as well. Hmm. Yeah, just like a big hole. <laughs> but this person is someone I look up to. The other, the other person I first started talking about. I look up to them a lot. And if you're familiar with me, you might already know who I'm talking about. <laughs> um, and I kind of just want to... And I, I, we talked about it quite recently. Um... And I, I talked about how insecure I can be at times about myself and my perception. And he, 
I oh, and yeah, he I ruined it. No, you know, definitely know who I'm talking about. Yeah, if you know me, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but, and, and this isn't the first time we've talked about it either. We talked about it uh, like a year or two ago. And um, he's just like, yeah, you're worrying about nothing. You, you worry about so much. You don't need to think about that. And it's something that I've been struggling to work on for a long time. Struggling to combat. Maybe I've just been struggling to address it. I don't know. It's not that I, like, consciously compare myself to other people. That's not where my insecurity stems from. It's just my perception. How people think of me. What they think of me. I don't know why I'm so concerned with that. I like it makes a difference, you know? Let's create a waypoint. Uh, we'll call it Ancient City 3. Is this the third one on the map we've discovered? What did, I, did I color it dark gray or dark blue? Unexplored Ancient City. First Ancient City. Let's edit these. Dark Aqua, okay. Ancient City 1. Well, I can't change that to... Uh, can I put numbers here? Yeah. A1. We'll just say A1. We're driving up the A1. What a shitty mangrove swamp. <laughs> we need to find a real one. This one we can call A2. I'm pretty sure we've gone in this. I suppose we could check it today. Now. A floating three, okay. So that's like a pretty decent sword, right? We still need fortune three. We still need efficiency five on this, wow. I could probably make these things. I probably tried in the past. I think I did make it like a god set of items, didn't I? A while ago. Don't die, oh. But then I remember not being happy with how they performed. But maybe I think fortune three should be on my list of things to get. I'm quite surprised I haven't had fortune this whole time, the amount of diamonds that I've mined. I probably mined like 50 diamond ore this last two days. So I could have got like another 50 diamonds or so from it. I want to start collecting ice 
for some blue ice paths than another. Food might could be a nice idea. I want to start making the railways connecting things. I want to make an underground railway connecting to Wathrenon. <laughs> Look at these mountains. Well, my computer is not enjoying rendering these new chunks. <laughs> My belly's going off right now. I hope I'd find an answer for all this medical stuff. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Maybe I should have got some more sleep. Maybe I shouldn't have had a coffee. I tried pooping already. I got a little bit out. But my body's telling me to go again, I think. The problems weren't... The other end until right after the colonoscopy. Now they've been happening the other end. It's really annoying. I have an appointment with a dietitian in a couple of days. So maybe I'll be able to learn more about intolerances and stuff. Because I believe I have a wheat intolerance. But from my food diaries and my testing and stuff, it's up and down. Sometimes I eat wheat, I'm fine. Sometimes I eat things without gluten, and I still have issues. That whole... This whole episode of my life is also... It's, it's a cause for a great many of the insecurities that I feel. Probably most of them. Because they've only been amplified in the time that I've been by myself. In the time that I've been off work, that I've had to be off work. A quiet room has so many benefits, but also so many drawbacks. I wish I could just enjoy life more. I wish I had more... More flexibility. I wish I was born into a family with just a bit more money. And then I was able to actually enjoy my childhood and my, most of my life. Because I haven't really been able to enjoy living. I don't think ever. It's something that's always been a struggle for me. Quite weird to admit. This is a really steep cliff, I like it. Yeah, hopefully there's another trail ruin around here somewhere, that would be super fun. I really want to excavate one. Again. It was still more common. We looked, me and a friend looked for hours in our multiplayer world trying to find one. We found one, eventually. Okay, so I'm back again. It's been um, like five hours, probably. I, I stopped playing at eight o'clock. It's 1.35 right now, so yeah, it's been an hour and a half. Five hours and a half. Um, I went back to bed. I wasn't feeling too good after the coffee that I had. Because um, I didn't eat anything with it. Um, I pooped, which was good. Um, I went back to sleep for three and a half hours. I've been up since half eleven. I just haven't really gone out of bed until just now. Made some breakfast. I'm feeling good. And I had a really interesting dream. I'm going to keep this episode going a bit longer than an hour. Just so I can talk to you about this dream. Because it was tied into everything that I was saying earlier. Um, because I probably fell asleep. I've been internalizing this a lot recently. And I probably fell asleep like not long after. I definitely fell asleep not long after thinking about all the stuff that I thought about. But I had a dream, and I'm going to tell you about the dream. So if you're not interested in hearing about the dream, you can turn off the video now. That's it. We're done. Come back another time. Thank you for watching. But, um, I was, like, going to college again? It was like a, a college or a school? I was the, the age that I am now. Um, 24. And everyone there was, was, uh, was like, eight, 17 and 18 and stuff. And, um... Uh, I don't usually 
get along too well with people younger than me. Just depends on who they are. I feel like the world now is a very different place than it was when I was their age. And people, people think some very different things. <laughs> and say some very different things. Um, but uh, I was... I was back, I was like in a, in a new place, I had someone with me, like a friend with me, and um, I was walking around trying to trying to meet new people, and I found a group that I really, really gelled with, and we got on really well. And uh, we were in this like assembly hall later on, and, uh, oh, by the way, my dreams are normally very literal, like, my dreams is, for someone who's really organised in real life and ordered, uh, it's not really a surprise to me that my dreams are very matter-of-fact very easy to interpret because I'm quite psychologically bent to to analyze myself and and that, that sort of reflects in my dream um, but I, I had made some jokes uh, well, not, I wasn't even making jokes but I'd, I'd made some like dark humor references and things with that group and they liked it and uh, then we were in like an assembly hall later on and um, with that same group they suddenly just turned on me and, uh, this, uh, oh my god, I don't know why I keep doing that lately. And, um, they all of a sudden didn't like the jokes anymore, and this one girl singled me out and stopped the whole assembly just to, like, call me a bad person. And it was, it was really interesting. And, uh, I quickly just, like, apologized, because I, I, cause I, I like, the whole theater was on me. Like, everybody was staring at me. And I was like, yeah, okay. I said the wrong thing. I just I said the the wrong thing at the wrong time. They were just jokes. They didn't like af actually reflect my views and stuff. And everyone was like, "Okay, yeah, that's fine." He he owned up to his mistake. He <laughs> didn't like try and get defensive or anything like that. And I, f I feel like that's um uh, I'll tell you about the whole the, the full the rest of the dream first before just telling you what I think it all means because I'm pretty sure I know what it means. Um. And then after that happened, I just wanted to be on my own for a little bit, and uh, so I left. And uh, I was like crawling up this little disheveled, like broken down house thing, into an, 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 an like an attic that was very empty. Uh, it had a bunch of stuff in there. There was no one up there, but it had a bunch of like cobwebs and, and bits and pieces lying about the floor. And I just crawled onto some of the rubble, some of the trash, and uh, just lay down for a little bit. And um, all of a sudden, I was like laying in snow. And then these two girls came in and it was like the room had suddenly cleaned up and I was in like a greenhouse or like a an observation room for plants because I was surrounded by a bunch of plants and they were like scanning them, marking them. They weren't worried that I was in there or anything. I think they just thought I was in the wrong room. But I got up and left and then started talking to some of the teachers and a couple of them were from my, my primary school that I recognized. Not, not teachers that like had an impact on me or anything. So it was really strange to see them and hear their voices. Um, because some of them I haven't talked to in, what, 15, 20, one of them I haven't talked to in 20 years, I was a tiny child. But it's weird, and they didn't have, a, like, a lasting effect on me, so I'm really curious why they showed up in the dream. But, um, I ended up talking with a bunch of the teachers, and got along really, really well with the teachers, and... Then I, like, realised, because I, I have a thing where I could, I, I can't lucid dream, but I can realise that I'm in a dream. And once I do that, I sort of like force myself to wake up because I know it's not like a, it's not a great thing to to be lucid in dreams. But I can I can wake up pretty easily from dreams uh, when I notice that I'm in one. Uh, because again, I get really an al analytical, <laughs> so it's like I'm I'm layers deep and I can pull myself out. It's a really interesting thing. Um, yeah, I, I got on really well with the teachers, and then I woke up, and. What, to me, what the dream symbolizes, because, again, like I said earlier, I have trouble feeling like I fit in anywhere, like I belong to in, to anywhere. I struggled with that for a while. And self-perception of what people think of me, um, all, all, all things like that. And I think this dream was a metaphorical for my anxiety and uh, how I can feel quite trapped and isolated and surrounded by people judging me, but then how easily I can shake myself out of that situation and realize that it doesn't matter and that, because again, I'm really like good at being conscious of my, of when I have mental illness episodes and I'm good, I'm able to like 
tell myself, like, diffuse situations pretty easily. And, like, remind myself that I'm, like, a good person with talent and things. So, super interesting. To me, that's what that dream represented. It was like a, um, a, a continuation of the, the thought experiment that I was having earlier. Um, we're thinking about everything. I can't really word how I feel that well. I always struggle with that too. I wrote it down, I summarized it really well to a friend earlier. But, um, yeah. Just very interesting. The law states that I can't end the video while a Minecraft song is playing, so we have to wait till the music ends. <laughs> but I, I don't tend to have dreams that are um, very outlandish. They're normally really grounded situations. Um, when I was a teenager, I had most of my dreams were night terrors, and uh, they often depict myself and my family getting killed in various ways. Really fucked up. And then when I was working on Hollowed Sorrow in 2020 and 2021, uh, those dreams came back and uh, they really started to manifest negatively in my life because of the subject matter of the album and how much I committed to it. <laughs> uh, but since then, uh, the night terrors have calmed down quite a bit and I don't get them too often. Maybe like three, three or four times a year I'll have one that um, I wake up screaming from. <laughs> um, but it's normally nonsensical stuff. In one of the dreams I got raped, that was fun. And the guy sounded very much like Toussaint from Amnesia the Bunker. Uh, which is another reason why I'm like very scared of him. That's, that's interesting, it's an interesting thought. Um, but... Oh, this is a big underwater cave, look at that. Oh, I thought I was going into the... The duct, but I'm not. But my dreams are normally quite easy to pass, quite easy to dissect and evaluate, uh, for which I'm quite grateful for. Because again, it's just in my nature to overanalyze literally fucking everything <laughs> and overthink everything. I have a friend who has some really crazy, crazy dreams. And he keeps, he's been messaging me a lot recently about them. And it's been fun to read up on them, because they're just so different to my own. He's got a lot more of a vivid imagination than I do. And he's a lot, a lot younger than me, so... He... He's going through, he's going through his own shit. He's one of my stream regulars. He's not that much younger than me, he's like, what, 19, 20? Um... Is this Big Cave? Big Cave is underneath me, I think. Or maybe separate. Let's go this way until we find a Big Cave. Am I under, above it? Am I below it? Big cave! I was below it! Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Dum dum ba dum dum da da dum dum. Am I in a mesa biome? Maybe. Hey, come here. I should probably end the episode, because I need to get the website finished, get a bunch of videos edited, and I've been putting off for like four months. <laughs> um, go back on the job search. I'm still on the job search. I'm currently waiting back from a couple of jobs, so I haven't really looked for any more, just because I don't want to have a bunch of interviews or whatever, what have you, just appointments and stuff in the same week. So I've been putting off until I hear back from every single one of them. There's only one of the jobs that I really, really want, but I don't think I'm going to get it. But maybe. If I did get this job, it would change my fucking life. Like, majorly. It would change every facet of my life, but I get the feeling that's not going to happen. <laughs> so I should end the episode, but I kind of just want to spend a little bit more time playing.
Maybe I should be collecting these then. <laughs> like the, the blocks themselves. It's not a bad idea. Is that a cave? That is. I have the rest of the coffee with me and I don't know if I should finish it or... Oh. Pour it down the sink. Yeah, I wish I could turn this melodic part of the ambient off, because it's really annoying. When, like, Minecraft music plays, it gets in the way of it. I should change this ambient, because I can change it in the files. I could just listen to, to all the, the tracks. Because if I, if I type play sound, then I can see what they're called. All the ones that the mods add. So I can change, I could probably change it. I could change it to Penumbra music. I could change it to Penumbra music. Oh, that would be sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into doing that. That's gonna be really fun. God damn it, I shouldn't give myself more things to do. More things to, to procrastinate. <laughs> Oh man. Do 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 Bottom bottom tum da da dum tum Oh my god Yeah, and I want to start. I, I I need to get back into music as well because I've been conceptualizing restarting this whole album. Um, it will probably be announced by the time this video comes out, so I'll just name drop it. It's called Your Conscience, My Crisis. I've been working on it since 2021, since after Hollowed. Believe it or not, it's been a long time. I just need to restart production on it to freshen myself up to the ideas and use what I've learned in recent years to improve the product. Always look around. Funk song, brother. What's the right way to place that down? I don't know. I thought it was floating. I mean, it is, kind of. It's like, hello, it's dangling in front of me. Piece of fruit. Hello. Aha. Why do you hide inside your walls? Watch this. You're about to see a gamer move. That. Oh, hello. I hesitate to say, uh, one of the pros do. It's me, I'm the pro. Did I see more diamond up here? No. Pro game remove, watch this. Ta-da. Who's the best? Me. Ah uh, yes, this scaffolding will surely help me. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I love the new diamond generation. It's so plentiful. Part of me thinks sometimes it's too much, but it's it was so rare last time. 
I'd rather find multiple small pockets than like barely any. This is my favorite part about Minecraft, just finding somewhere to go and mine for a couple of hours. That collection of resources never gets boring for me. Especially when there's when I turn off the monsters. Cause I just get to immerse myself in walking around. Yeah, I know I'm above a mine shaft. I kind of just can't be bothered to mine it. Should we try and find a way out? Could be a good idea. Look at this. You know, I wasn't a fan of the cave generation. I, it's it has grown on me. I'm still not majorly happy with it, but because I feel like there's a lot more dead ends than there used to be. And I get lost a lot easier than I used to. Because of just how more open and how many different avenues there are and how much things wrap around pretty consistently. Like this typically leads to a dead end. It gets super difficult to traverse and then just stops. And I don't think I don't see how that's fun. Or like that, like on the minimap you see now, how it goes all the way down. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of annoying to deal with. It looks like I'm under a big pile of water, or at least close to one. Maybe I should be digging a little bit more in that direction, because it looks like all the water's there. Probably it doesn't matter, right? We hear it. Ah. Ointment of sulfur. Wow. I'm not picking up the lapis, redstone, or coal with the fortune, with the silk touch pick, just because I don't really need fortune for these things. Like, I find so much coal and so much uh, lapis and redstone that mining it all kind of useless. Mining it with, with fortune 3 is kind of useless, because I'd get way too over encumbered way too quickly. What a cool generation. I think, you know, we might actually be able to make our way back home just from the water itself. If this river wraps around there, we could carve a little path through that. Go around, go up, keep heading that way. Huh. I think I'll teleport though, just because, you know, save some time. How did chunks generate here? That's really interesting. When did I go down here as well, I wonder? <laughs> oh, that's... I remember when I went to that portal ages and ages and ages ago. It was thousands of blocks away. I had to come all the way back up. That's why it's such a straight line, because it was in the nether. <laughs> I should screenshot this and then overlap my maps. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's just head straight back. <laughs> Take a second.
This is the this is the psychology episode. <laughs> I hope it was interesting for you. Maybe you learned a little bit more about me. Let's make a I'll put it up here. I'll just litter diamond blocks everywhere. And we'll come back to it eventually. When we have Fortune 3. Should we try and get Fortune 3 now? I probably have a Fortune book somewhere. Dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum dum Yeah, 15 diamond blocks in the last day of just mining. That's definitely an increase, considering as we had, what, two years of mining and we only had a stack and whatever this minus 15 is. <laughs> definitely a welcome increase, I feel. Okay, we're now onto this chest. Now this one is full, so we're going to need to start piling them up eventually, because my coal and my lapis chests have moved on to the second part. I haven't been collecting as much redstone, so... I forgot to put the coal away. Oh, I did all that effort to avoid <laughs> what I just did. <laughs> I don't know what's in these. I don't even remember. Oh, deep dark stuff. I remember now. Hmm. I still don't have a redstone area. I should make a redstone area. Um, that should be one of the things underneath, maybe on the back in that corner, maybe. Or on the side. Or that side. Because we have the copper area. We could make a little redstone room in there. Because I still use my redstone room underground. I kind of don't want to block any of that stuff up. I kind of just want to keep all of that there. <laughs> Uh, music discs will take these down. Candles, I think, and these, I think, can go in this chest. Yeah. Should I have a chest just for fragments, I wonder? Well, I suppose I have a chest just for this disc, so yeah, I do. I know I have one. Oh, I have at least one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me make two of these quickly. Why not? Hmm. There are times where I really, um, believe that I'll turn on hard mode and lock this game to hard mode, but it's probably a really bad idea. <laughs> All these armor trims, look at that. So we have books and saddles. I'll put the lead over here. Is that one for the saddles? Yeah, then there's some redstone stuff, some library stuff, and some forge stuff. Okay. I might even have a Fortune 3. Um, oh yeah, because I um, turned a lot of the villagers, I lost like 30 golden apples, so. It took a while, I was rebalancing those bastards for a long time. We should sleep before phantoms come down and dive bomb me. 
Yeah, boys and girls. I'm fed you in days. Bunk a bunk. I can trade this chicken now. A boo, a boo. So saddle, 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 diamond or saddle. Uh, potion corner. I believe that's going to be this little workstation down here eventually when I put the brewing stand and stuff in. Potion, potion, potion. Potion, potion, potion. I should make a little potion like repository. I could mine uh, a lot of blocks this way. And have a, like a separate potion room, one barrel full of each potion. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, I didn't really mine for a lot of stuff, huh? Look at that. Books can go in the library. You know, I was going to play some music, but... I just kept holding off because I thought the game was going to do it for me. But it hasn't, so... <laughs> but I know now that if I press the button... Let me turn off music, and I'll turn it back on, and then do a play sound. It's too underwater music. We could get a really happy one or a really sad one. We got the happy one, okay. I should lock these helpers until I really need to use them. Is there anything in these? I should be using these, really. I should replace them. Not that I'm in a rush. Maybe I shouldn't. If I don't need to. Um, I have a feeling the diamond stuff will be will be useful eventually. At the moment, it's kind of nice, which is why I've barely kept them. I normally just disenchant it and then throw it away, but I probably should have a second set of netherite eventually. Yeah, do I have fortune three? I do. And efficiency five. God damn it, you're gonna play my favorite fucking song. Oh. Yeah, it canceled out the, the new song that started playing, but kept my song. Okay. That's a shame. Can I do this then? No. But if I turn this into another right, and then combine it, that should be... Ah! Efficiency 5. And Fortune 3. Is this worth it? I think so. A main upgrade. I don't know why we don't have 14 3 on here already. Or efficiency 5. It's not a bad idea at all. How do you... I thought you used the smithing table. Oh, uh, we need to use another one upgrade now, don't we? Hmm. That's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, while I'm here, I could take some diamonds to see if I can replicate one. We might need a couple. I think it takes netherrack? I don't remember. 
I haven't done this before. It's not that I don't remember, it's that I don't know. I'd wager it is Netherrack. Yeah. Not that I needed to do that, but... Yeah, that's another change that I really don't like, because for multiplayer worlds, that makes it even worse. Finding netherite tools, if you're like joining a big server, which I don't, but it's important to factor in all the players. I hope this works, otherwise I've just lost seven diamonds in a netherite. Kitchen C5, Fortune 3. Yeah. Clarence is fully upgraded now, maybe, I think. So let's see how many diamonds we get from 25, was it? I'll count them. I'm gonna guess 48. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 53! Huh. We got our diamonds back. Hm. Yeah. Oh, now that my now that the shaders are working again, or the signposts are working with the shaders, I can continue my little journals, my diary section. <laughs> I'm excited. Where should I put the books? Do I have a barrel down anywhere? I could name books. Oh, my texture pack is. <laughs> <laughs> I could name books and plop them into some of these chair some of these areas. No, but I want the idea is I want to write all of these books. <laughs> write. 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 What did I say write? Do books go in here? I thought books went somewhere. Where have I been putting my books? Have I ever collected books? Do I just make them into bookshelves? Maybe I just keep making them into bookshelves. I'll just make more bookshelves, yeah. Fuck. I don't really like this. <laughs> Roman doing the most useless fucking thing ever. For a tiny bit of convenience, but it robs itself of all the convenience in the first place. You leave me alone. Is this where I'm collecting skeleton heads? Where am I collecting these? Where am I collecting skeleton heads? I gotta be collecting them somewhere, right? Yeah. Maybe they should be in the nether chest, in the skeleton chest. Not that I ever need bones or arrows, I have so fucking many from the, the skeleton farm all the way over there. I think next episode we'll work on the redstone room down there, could be a fun idea. But I don't want to record for a little bit, I've been playing way too much Minecraft lately. Way too much. <laughs> it's a good home. Like your mom. Oops. Fuck it, you know, I'll use this XP on me, why not? Beep, 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 beep. Beep. Excuse me. Uh, books up there. 
Ja, min toe. We need a new animal soon. We need a min toe. Oh, these bloody feathers. <laughs> anyway. I think I'm gonna head off. Thank you for watching this long, long, long episode. We got a lot done. I think. Maybe. Maybe we didn't. No, we didn't really get that much done. <laughs> but, uh, well. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.